optimizing and starting. Uh, so let's uh, talk today about uh, the search trees, which are a little better than the trees we have seen uh, last uh, last time. Those are uh, those are, as you can see. And uh, they look like uh, you're just a regular uh, search tree. There are some values, some keys stored in the in the nodes, and there uh, there is a structure. And you might say, okay, we can search, insert, and delete anything we want in this tree. There are these additional mm, additional values associated with each node. Two of them, and they tell you what the depth of the left and the right subtree of each node is. Uh, so we say, aha, well, so what? Now, of course, what you want to have, and what anybody wants to have, is to have a tree balanced. Uh, a tree, because we have seen last time that when a tree is not balanced, it has a long branches, and uh, you have to search long branches, and that takes some time. So uh, to reduce, to minimize the searching time, you want to uh, to have a balanced tree. That means that when you are in any node, then the Size or something, maybe size, maybe depth, something important about the left and right subtree should be more or less the same. So there is the left subtree, there is left subtree, and the depths of left and the right subtree should be more or less uh, ideally equal, uh, ideally equal. Uh, so, uh, okay, so no, now we say, well, that's not possible because uh, data are complex and you cannot have uh, a perfectly balanced tree uh, as you would like, something like this, which is perfectly balanced, all right, all right, uh, but uh, that does not happen always. So the additional the additional values tell us uh, what are uh, what are the depths of particular uh, trees. And now you say, well, now because you want to have more or less left and right uh, subtree balanced, you say that uh, those uh, those depths of those subtree do cannot vary uh, too much. So if you go one side and if you go into other side. Uh, uh, what you can uh, achieve on the left and on the right, and how deep can you go, that should not vary too much. And the difference of the heights or the depths of the left and the right subtree might be only minus one, zero, or one. That means the difference between the two values in each in each node. So you can see those differences, they are sometimes they are the same, so the difference is zero. Uh, obviously, in each leaf, the difference is zero. And sometimes the difference is one first minus the second one is plus uh, plus one. And is there any other example? Uh, there is the difference between minus one and zero is minus one. Uh, so uh, all right. So that is. And if the uh, if a tree uh, if a tree uh, each node in the tree if uh, if it has uh, this property, then you say it is an AVL tree, and uh, and uh, you can work with it as we will see in a moment. Now all right, it's a search tree, so they they come in and say, okay, insert something into your tree. Now, for example, value 30, uh, they, you go and uh, insert value 30. And of course, now something has changed in the tree. So you have to recalculate along the path from the inserted node to the very uh, root. Now you have to recalculate the depths of each tree. You do it only along the path because the depths in all other subtrees are not uh, affected. The, the, the subtrees which are not uh, which are not part of this of this path uh, by which you uh, you traverse the tree when you are. Inserting this uh, uh, this new key. Uh, 
So uh, it's easy to recalculate because uh, there uh, 30 is uh, a new node. So this uh, this was here uh, at 22. There originally was minus one. So it has, it was increased to zero. And now this zero, which was there previously, is now increased to one. Uh, the, now this uh, uh, obviously uh, this depth is uh, was just one now it is two and so and so forth while doing this uh, in, uh, this uh, increasing uh, increasing this uh, this additional balance uh, balance values you come to a situation when the difference between one and the other uh, is too uh, is too big this the difference is, is two so the depth is you can go into the deepest node to, to the left you go one two three four steps into the deepest node on to the right you do uh, go only two steps so now the the difference is too big and what you have to do is to somehow uh, somehow fix the tree and now comes uh, comes the main uh, main operation by which we fix the tree which we see is uh, is not balanced uh, it's so called the rotation and in this case it is so called the R rotation or a right rotation. You take your tree and you uh, rotate it to the right, which means exactly uh, exactly following. Well, it's not on the picture. We'll have uh, uh, we'll have a general picture on the next slide. So what did happen? As you can see, the uh, rightmost part, 76, 68, 92, uh, the right subtree of the node, which uh, which was affected, in which we detected the uh, the disbalance. So the right subtree of that node is still there, and all the values and everything about it is uh, is uh, still the same. Uh, then, uh, then there are some uh, some profound changes. Uh, it looks. Uh, so what happened? Uh, 34, uh, 34 was moved to the uh, top and 51 was moved to the right so these two nodes uh, these two nodes were moved uh, to the right and what was to the left of 34 the left subtree of 34 strangely enough was not changed at all as you can see uh, this part is uh, on the left uh, there it did not change and the right subtree of 34 uh, suddenly found a new parent which is which is 51 it looks complicated, but in fact, as many of things we present here, it is not. Uh, so let's have it once more uh, like uh, this, just to uh, emphasize the pieces of the tree uh, which are and which are not affected. We have this top uh, uh, top. Uh, node, maybe it is a root, maybe this, uh, the whole stuff is uh, part of some bigger tree, that's not important. What is important is that uh, 51 was moved to the, uh, to the uh, right, 34 was also moved to the right, and that means it became a new root of this whole. Uh, tree we have here and this middle uh, subtree which was originally the uh, right subtree of 34 became the left subtree of of 51 now uh, it changed the whole subtree changed uh, uh, changed position and quite radically in the tree uh, so you might ask whether uh, still uh, the uh, search property is maintained that is if you go to any node that uh, smaller values are on the left and uh, bigger values are on the right and indeed it is so because you've got 34 originally and 51 up there and everything what is in the uh, in the uh, right subtree of 34 uh, all values are keys excuse me uh, keys those keys uh, 
R should be smaller than 51 because they are to the left of 51. If you go for any key in this sub T, you have to go uh, to the left. So they are smaller than 51. And of course, because they are uh, in the right sub tree of 34, uh, they must be all bigger than 34. So everything which is here is between two. So if you go for any key which is in this big subtree, you have to follow a uh, follow, uh, path from 51 to 32, then to the root of the subtree in the original situation. And after rotation, after rotation 34, is the new root, 51 is its right child, and this whole sub, whole subtree is the uh, left subtree of 51. And of course, now when you go to that subtree, all keys must be bigger than 34 because you go right there. And all of the keys must be smaller than 51 because you go from 51, you go to the left to those keys. So uh, nothing happened to uh, those keys. They are still in correct position in their respective, uh, in their respective uh, trees. So uh, moving, uh, moving uh, sub this subtree to its new position did not spoil the, uh, the, uh, the, the property of search tree. Uh, so that's uh, that's fine, and the left and uh, the very left and the very right subtree, as you can see, there are no changes in them. So all right, so it is a st still a correct search tree. And what was improved, of course, was that fact that the depth of uh, the uh, very left subtree, which uh, was originally the source of the problem, uh, particularly the last uh, edit, uh, last edit key, 30 in it. So that tree, now the whole tree was moved up by one, uh, by one level because it was originally, it was sitting uh, two levels below the root. Now, as you can see, it is sitting only one level below the root. So everything which is, uh, which is in that tree went one level up. Uh, the middle uh, subtree, which I mentioned here, the depth of that middle subtree did not change. It was two levels uh, below, the, uh, below the root, so it still remains in the same level, so that nothing has changed. But the right subtree of the root suddenly, uh, suddenly went one, uh, one level, uh, level down. Well, uh, and that's fine because originally its depth was there was some depth, but the, you can see that there are two uh, steps from the left uh, left tree to the right subtree. I mean, two steps, uh, two vertical steps. And now the, they are uh, their bottoms are uh, are leveled. So the the, the depth uh, the depth the difference of the depths now is leveled, and uh, and you have uh, finally uh, 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 correct AVL three. That means that these differences, which were three and one, or I mean uh, the, these depths, which were three and one, uh, now are two and two. To the left we have two, and to the uh, right we have two. Uh, once more, uh, once more uh, in very general. Uh, general uh, setting. This is absolutely the same picture as the previous one. Only uh, those additional uh, additionals are important uh, for rotation uh, data are not uh, displayed here. So that's all. As you can see, all that happened. This is the additional node which caused the trouble. Uh, due, thanks to the rotation, that additional node and. Uh, and the rest of the tree went up, and the rightmost part went went down. So now uh, everything is nicely leveled from the point of view of that uh, of that node which which had uh, which had the trouble. Uh, 
it's, uh, it is important to see that uh, it does not take too much work to, uh, to uh, perform a rotation uh, because the, those are only three, uh, the only three nodes involved in rotation. And maybe if there is, if there is a parent, let's say if there is uh, some parent of 51, I don't know, 1047. Uh, uh, so then, of course, 1047, uh, then, of course, a parent of 34 becomes that uh, 1047, and a parent of 51 becomes uh, 34. So that parent might be involved as well, but no other nodes are uh, involved, only four nodes each time uh, you perform one. In this case, it was uh, right rotation. So the important uh, message is uh, that that a rotation, a rotation, uh, rotation takes oh, uh, one uh, time uh, to perform. Form that is, it's a constant time operation, so it's fine because it does not take uh, it does not take much time. You have to change few a few references in the in the tree. Uh, all right, so that's uh, that's one rotation. Uh, well, there is of course its mirror uh, mirror image a left rotation, which you apply in situations uh, like uh, like the previous one. Uh, if your tree looks like, I'll create a smaller. A smaller tree. This is an AVL tree. Let's put there some uh, values inside just to be more uh, specific with it, uh, and uh, and see what uh, what's going. I feel got 51 again at the top. Uh, there might be 34 as before, just to confuse everybody. Uh, 101, 88. 103. And now what we do, for example, uh, we might append, oh, well, let's say, uh, let's say we append 102. Uh, 102. So now we apply left rotation. Uh, and what's going uh, to uh, happen? Uh, one, uh, 101 goes to the root. 51 goes, uh, 51 goes uh, down to the left, becomes the child of 101. 34 is uh, where it was before relative to 51, so that's one sub three, one o oh one. Now the right sub three o oh one o oh one. Uh, there is no change in it, so the one o oh three is there, and it has its left uh, sub three one o oh two, and this middle uh, sub three changes its parent because it is big between 51 and 101 so it will still has to be between 51 and uh, 101 so that uh, goes goes in here so there you are yeah so there it is if you call this a b c so there you've got a B and, and this, uh, this C, as you can see, everything is nicely balanced now from the point of view of 101 and from the point of view of other nodes as well. Uh, so left and right uh, rotation are just the mirror of each uh, mirror uh, operations of each other. So once you are able to implement one of them, uh, implementing the other one is is obvious. So we've got uh, we've got this uh, rotation. Unfortunately, it is not enough. Sometimes we can run into more troubles uh, when uh, manipulating this AVL three. 
And that's on the next slide. So let's see another AVL3, something like this. Again, uh, AVL3. Uh, so uh, what? Uh, they ask us to insert something into that tree, insert 38. Inserting is easy. You go left, uh, right, left and right with 38. There's place for 38 in this tree. Insert it there and move up along the path we, uh, we have come to 38 and update this yellow highlighted uh, values of depths of, uh, of corresponding uh, subtrees. When we arrive into, into 51 up there into the root, we see that the difference is too big. Therefore, we have to apply, uh, apply a rotation. Applying, uh, so we say, aha, uh -huh, nice. We have just learned how to uh, fix our tree. So let's uh, let's fix it. And you try to apply what? Obviously, a right rotation because the left uh, left side of the tree is really uh, really not heavy, but its uh, its depth is big, and here the depth is small. So try to rotate everything to the right. I will do it for you. And you'll see the effect of uh, of uh, uh, the whole uh, stuff. Fifty one is rotated to the right, and everything what is, what is to the right of fifty one uh, does not change. So seventy six is there, and uh, sixty eight and ninety two uh, they live on the right side now thirty four went to the top so everything what was in its left uh, subtree uh, does not change so there is uh, thirteen with the left child eight and that part which is in the middle and in fact, which caused the, the trouble, uh, this one. So that one is just moved, uh, moved from being the right child of, of 34 to being the left child of 51. And you can already see that the trouble is that this, uh, that this part, which, uh, which uh, makes uh, trouble, does not change its, uh, its depth. So when it does not change it, its depth, its depth will be still the same. And you can see 40 at the top, 45. Uh, 36, oh, 36 and 38 down there, and the resulting tree again is not an AVL tree, not AVL tree, because the problem was not fixed. Here, the depth to the left, the depth is only uh, for how much should be. Uh, should be one. The depth of this subtree is one, and here it is one, uh, one, two, three. And the depth of the right subtree is this is zero, one, two, uh, one, two, three. So the difference between one and three is again uh, bigger than one in absolute value. So uh, nothing, uh, nothing uh, changed. So no change, no improvement uh, of the single and that was a right rotation or uh, rotation. So we need some other fix. Unfortunately, it is the last fix also, so we will not need any more fixes. How do we fix it? We will fix it by applying two rotations in different uh, parts of, uh, of, this, uh, of this tree. So let's do it. Huh, what happened? Aha, so they first show us uh, show us the result, and after they will uh, show us probably something step by step, or or who knows. Uh, what do they show us? 
Ah, the 51 uh, had a problem, and it went to the right as expected, so that's nice. And its right sub 3 is still on its right, so there is no change. Uh, 34 was, strangely enough, 34 stayed at its position, and its left sub 3 also did not change. So just 51 went to the, uh, went to the right. Good, and suddenly, suddenly something more happened. F now, this fort, 40, which is quite deep, uh, originally relatively to 51, you have to make two steps to get to 40, suddenly went up, and the, because it went up, uh, it has two, suddenly, uh, two children left without a parent. So 36 and 38 was connected to 34, and this uh, right sub 3 was connected to 51, which went down, therefore it can have some additional uh, additional uh, left child. Originally the left child was 34. So it uh, looks rather complicated. Uh, let's make some sense of it. Uh, what did happen? They uh, performed a left rotation and right rotation, but not all in the same in the same uh, route. So first they said, "Okay, we have this trouble in uh, in the route in, uh, in 51 node. So, aha, uh -huh. let's go to the left." Uh, left sub tree where the problem arises and first fix that left sub tree of 51. Not just to perform right rotation immediately as I have done. It did not help. So first let us fix this left sub tree and that fixing means that first we uh, somehow counterintuitively uh, perform left rotation there. What the left rotation does is just it takes this troublesome uh, deepest sub tree and moves it a little bit higher uh, because that means that, uh, what does that mean? Let's, uh, they don't uh, show us the, uh, the, uh, the step which uh, which is this intermediate step. So what happens after left rotation might be uh, seen here on the uh, blackboard. Now 40 will become the root of uh, that sub tree. 34 is going to the right. Uh, and 13 and 8. Uh, 30, oh sorry, so 13 and 8 of uh, left sub 3 of uh, 34 remains in there. It's 8. Uh, 13. Now, uh, 30, uh, what is to the left of 40 is 45. That does not change. And what is between 30 and 40? It means that 36 and 38 must become uh, 36. And 38, they become, uh, they are moved here, and the rest is not changed. So uh, we have just performed left rotation uh, in the root 40. Uh, the rest of the tree is not changed, so that still sits there. I will just show it like uh, that one. So that is your 76 and uh, 68 and 92 or whatever. So, uh, so you can see that after the left rotation in, uh, in the node 40, the, uh, the tree is not fixed, but now the problem has been moved from the central part of, the, uh, of uh, this. A scheme, let us say, we have to go to the left and to the right, so uh, this troublesome part is somewhere in the middle. So now that trouble has been moved uh, to the left, you can see that this difference is uh, still uh, two, uh, two levels. Uh, so, uh, so now it is not fixed, but now one right rotation 
in uh, uh, YouTuber form in note 51, it's, uh, sorry, it's 51, not 50, uh, we'll, we'll fix it and uh, we will get to the situation which is, uh, which is, shown, uh, which is shown here. Uh, so uh, the result which we saw on the previous slide uh, uh, is uh, exactly the result of these two uh, of these two consecutively applied rotations. Of course, you have to be careful and uh, apply them in correct order and uh, in the correct note. So first, the left rotation on the uh, on the left in the left subtree, and then rotation in the root, and it fixes uh, the situation. That is again a general picture. Once more, uh, you've got uh, left-right rotation uh, with added disbalanced node to A. Uh, to to uh, something which is to this one of these subtrees which are in the middle, let us say, more or less intuitively. It's not the very left, it's not the right subtree. It is the right subtree of the left, uh, of the left uh, child. No, of the it is the yeah it is this is the right subtree of the left child and somewhere in there was added this additional uh, node so this this part of the of the tree has to go up and as you can see in the result there's just the resulting picture it really went up one two three to B and now only one two to B the same holds for D so if this Z was added not under the uh, tree with the root B but uh, under the tree with root D it would uh, result in the same uh, in the same uh, uh, situation I mean uh, the effect would be the same again the tree will be uh, will be balanced. And fortunately, this is uh, uh, everything that can happen uh, with uh, that, that also there is uh, a mirror, uh, mirror situation. We have applied left and then the right rotation. If uh, the trouble happens uh, in the right subtree of the root and then in the left subtree of the, of the child of the root, then it's just a mirror situation and you have to apply the right left rotation. So those are just four uh, cases we have to take uh, take care of. Uh, it is here what I have just said. Right left rotation is just a mirror of the previous uh, previous situation. So uh, no uh, change in that. So finally we have four situations which we have to fix by either left or by right rotation or by left right rotation or by right uh, left rotation. Those are are sometimes called a single and those are unsurprisingly called double rotations uh, 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 rotation, but it is important that uh, all are based on the very first one rotation we have uh, we have learned uh, at the beginning. So although there are four rotations, they consist of only one rotation. For example, left rotation and right rotation is just a mirror, a mirror case of that. Uh, you can just uh, go around the, uh, around the blackboard and look at it from the other side, and you see uh, right rotation instead of, uh, of the left rotation. Uh, and uh, when implementing, you might implement similar trick. All right, so we've got uh, these uh, rotations, so they, they tell us some, uh, some rules for applying rotations, which is, uh, which is easy. Uh, when we, after we insert uh, some value, then we travel. When we insert anything down there, then we have to travel uh, up to the root and uh, and uh, update subtree depth it's each node i didn't show them here in these pictures i hope it's not important i know this is uh, you can see it i don't have to do it uh, travel up to the root and update subtree depths if a node is disbalanced that means for example like this one uh, then you check what did happen if we came 
two steps from right or two steps from left, then we apply a single rotation, only ref left or right, like for example, in this case, this is this balance, you go up, up, here you detect a problem, and the last two steps were, were to the left, to the left, this, so you say, aha, we have to uh, move to the, uh, to the left. In this case, in this case, last two steps is to the right and to the left. So you say, aha, you have to, uh, yeah, those are just mechanical uh, rules. Uh, you say, aha, we have to uh, apply, uh, apply double rotation, and th that is. Uh, important information, not uh, very. Uh, not uh, very obvious, but still important. One rotation in the inside of balance is correctly the AVL tree. So, if our uh, tree is a part of something bigger, 407 up there, and then it is again part of something bigger, who knows, uh, well, 46, and so on. So, there is. Uh, uh, it's a part of bigger tree. So when we fer when we correct the pro when we detect the problem and correct it by the rotation, it does not disbalance. It, uh, it is fixed and the tree remains AVL. So if we after first correction we don't have uh, to go to b back to the root of the tree because we uh, uh, we are uh, assured and in fact it holds that it is enough to do uh, this uh, rotation in that node, which is this balance, and that's enough, and uh, the tree is, uh, remains, uh, remains balanced after that. Of course, that is because this, uh, this trouble, which also might, might be a trouble for the rest of the tree, is corrected because this sub-tree after double rotation is moved up. So it, if it did cause the trouble for the rest of the tree after fixing uh, the, uh, the relevant sub-tree, uh, the part which caused uh, uh, originally the trouble uh, is not causing the trouble anymore because it is lifted up one step. So its depth is the same as before, and we can be happy. Uh, the other parts did not went, uh, did not, uh, did not went, uh, did not increase their depth uh, relatively to the left, to the uh, rest of the whole tree. Uh, so that's uh, that. It is. Uh, be careful. Uh, now we go to the read elements, and uh, that might take uh, some time, and it will take some time. And the delete operation is uh, is a little bit more uh, complex. So uh, let's go into uh, into deleting. Uh, I have mentioned it uh, last time. Anytime you go deleting in any uh, any search tree, the situation is more complex than with inserting uh, because there are more uh, cases. Typically, they want you to delete something from uh, inside the tree, and you cannot just take uh, just take a node and just uh, remove it uh, because there are some children depending on it. Uh, so, uh, so what? Uh, you do there are typically more cases when you delete something. Uh, remove the node uh, using the same method and uh, as in BST. So, aha, uh -huh. so that's last time uh, there were some three cases of uh, deleting elements. Okay, what, what were there, uh, those cases? Uh, delete, uh, delete in. Uh, binary search tree, there were three cases. One was delete a leaf, a leaf which is simple, you just cut it off and it is not there and you are happy. So that's uh, easy. Yeah. Number two was a uh, node uh, with one. A child, node with one child, how do you fix it? Uh, leave you uh, cut off and that's it. Uh, node one child, uh, the, uh, the deletion uh, works like uh, connect, uh, connect uh, uh, the parent directly 
act early to the child to the child therefore omitting the current node which has to be deleted like that if you are going to delete 16 up there then connect 51 to 26 completely omitting the 16 there is nothing to the left of 16 so you don't lose anything and just uh, 16 is just uh, taken out of the picture at all, uh, completely. So uh, that's, uh, that's that case. Third case was note with two children. Note with two children. What does it has to do? Well, subs uh, typically you say substitute, substitute and uh, key in the node the node by the uh, for example maximum uh, key in the uh, left uh, i hope yeah left subtree of our troublesome node, a subtree in the right subtree. Of course, that maximum key has to be removed there in that left subtree, but that maximum key in the left subtree, uh, that max key surely, uh, surely satisfies a case one or uh, two. It cannot be another node which has two children. When you go, when you go, for example, if you want to remove, you don't have a nice picture. We do have nice uh, picture in there. Uh, so if you want to remove 407, then you substitute it by 92, which is a, uh, which is a uh, leaf. Uh, in uh, for, for, we don't have nice picture now in there, but uh, you can have another one, of course. A few uh, three looks like uh, this one. If you want to uh, remove the key in the here in the root, then you take the maximum which is in the left sub three, and that maximum is this one. And let's say note with just one, uh, with just one mm, child. Had it, it cannot have, to have another child because that child would be bigger than uh, because it would be to the right of, of that note. Uh, so that's uh, that's the uh, that's the whole uh, uh, that's the whole. Uh, uh, very shortly, a uh, reminder of, of how to delete in binary search tree. So whenever we are in AVL tree, we can go and delete 16. Now, travel from the place of deletion up to the root. Well, that can be done. Update subtree heights. Of course, we will have removed something. So uh, now something happens. So again, as in, in insertion, we do uh, update these, these values. And if necessary, apply the corresponding rotation. Aha, mm. what does it mean that it is necessary? And how do we, uh, how, <coughs> pardon? How do we apply it? <coughs> well, and what is the corresponding rotation? Uh, so after we uh, deleted 16, which is there, which is gone, we travel upwards and we find uh, that there, uh, there, is a, uh, there is some trouble. And now what you say, okay, now, so now we have to correct the thing. What kind of, um, of rotation would you suggest to, uh, to do? Again, and once more, again, and once more, this might go very probably, uh, it should be, it might be obvious by now uh, that applying just a left rotation does not help. Uh, does not help. <laughs> Let's take this. Yeah, does not help. Or will it help? I try left rotation. If 51 uh, goes left, uh, left goes 28, new root becomes 84. 
because it's go left, uh, 93, which was to the uh, left of uh, 84, uh, stays there, and the middle part, uh, 70 and 55, which is between 51 and 84, is just moved uh, to the left, so there is uh, 70, uh, it should be more like that, uh, 70 and 55. So obviously it did not help uh, that three is still uh, not balanced. So you say, aha, what is the problem now? The problem now we had, uh, we did uh, changes in a left sub three of, uh, of this, this balanced node, but now the problem is in the right sub three because by deleting the piece of left sub three, the left sub three became shorter and therefore the right subtree is still uh, still deep and now you have to choose which part of that right subtree is deep. If it is the left subtree then the single rotation does not help so you have to apply uh, the right rotation. If, the, uh, if of course we had a different picture, if we had something like this after the deleting that uh, value uh, 16, if if our uh, tree looked like uh, 70 and instead of 55, 93, and that would be, for example, 89 uh, down there. So now, in this case, you will fix the trouble by, uh, by uh, a single left rotation. Uh, because uh, because uh, you can imagine that the, the trouble was also caused, which was not, uh, by adding uh, 89. So this balance 89 uh, makes the, is a troublesome piece. So if when you go to the uh, to the uh, uh, root, when you go to the uh, to the root, you have to go twice. So one left rotation twice in the same uh, direction. So one left rotation helps, and uh, and that uh, that will be it. Uh, so that's uh, that's more or less uh, the idea of the uh, of deleting. Uh, the first part uh, deleting uh, you have to uh, pay copy and paste it from uh, from uh, binary search tree, and then this part again you have to move up to the root and do uh, do updating of the uh, of this uh, balancing uh, balancing uh, values and then just apply uh, apply a rotation. Now, uh, uh, yeah, uh, so of course, uh, the, here is the root which I have just, uh, sorry, here is the rule which I have just uh, uh, told you in the disbalance. No, check the, the root of the subtree opposite to the one which we came from, where the, where the deletion occurred. So if the heights of the subtrees of that root are equal, it's enough to apply a single rotation. And if the height of the more distance is bigger, then they have apply a single rotation. In the remaining case, apply double. Uh, so once more, height of the more distance sub three of the truth is bigger than the height of the less distant one. Uh, here is the problem. Go to the right, uh, right sub tree and check whether the more distant we came to 51 here because the deletion occurred here. The ion uh, uh, here. So it occurred in the left subtree, so we go to the right subtree, and there, uh, there we check whether the most more distant tree is deeper than the, uh, than the uh, subtree which is, which is closer to, uh, to the original, original uh, deletion operation. In this case, this is true, so they say, aha, uh -huh, if that, uh, so uh, the height of the less, uh, apply a single rotation. In the remaining cases, which, uh, which uh, is the case which is there, you have to go to the left and to the right, this the depth is bigger than the, uh, than the, uh, than the depth of the, 
of the more distance up tree, then you apply double uh, double rotation, uh, which which I hope they will show us. They do they show it to us? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they show it uh, to us. Seventy goes up. That means you rotate seventy eighty four. First, you have to imagine that seventy and uh, eighty four go uh, right. Uh, seventy eighty four ninety three. Uh, and uh, 55, uh, 55 remains under uh, 70, uh, 55, and 51 and uh, 28 are as before. So you got to, after a uh, right rotation, you got you get to uh, this configuration, and when you perform here left rotation, you get uh, you get the picture which is down on the on the screen. Seventy goes to the top, fifty-one and twenty-eight go to the left, fifty-five, which is uh, below seventy on the left, now is sitting on the right to the fifty-one, and the remaining part is not changed. Uh, so that's the whole uh, that's the whole idea. So with this, we can process any any tree. Uh, I mean, any binary search tree, uh, which then becomes an AVL tree. That means it is always balanced. So that means that all operations will be uh, will be. Uh, their complexity will be like this, uh, which is exactly as you can see, uh, depending on the logarithm of number number of nodes. Therefore, uh, that means that when your n is, for example, as usual, 10 to the 9, if you have one giga of, of keys or one uh, one uh, billion uh, entries, uh, then the the depth uh, depth is something like uh, a binary logarithm of uh, this, which is about uh, which is about thirty. So you have to uh, you have to traverse thirty about thirty nodes to get from the top to the bottom with million uh, with billion uh, entries and uh, that's quite uh, as you can see quite favorable uh, the last thing I, uh, I need to stress is that uh, is that uh, when we are working on a delete that means when we perform delete it is not enough to perform only one balanced operation. It might happen that we have, and the example shows it, we might go up to the very root and uh, perform the, uh, the rotation. So the example shows it. Uh, here at the beginning, if you include the node which is uh, which is crossed. Originally, the node is there. Uh, this uh, tree is uh, correctly balanced, like AVL tree. If you are in any node and you compute left and right depths of uh, respective subtrees, they will differ by at most one. They will differ by one in most cases. Uh, so it's quite uh, at the edge of being uh, disbalanced uh, completely in most uh, in most nodes, but still it somehow. Uh, somehow uh, clings to the to being AVL, and then when they uh, when they remove this very particular rightmost node, so what happens? It was removed. So now here uh, this is this part is three yellow yellow and white nodes are disbalanced. So you have to perform a rotation here. Obviously, you perform a right rotation. Uh, right rotation, which fixes uh, that uh, subtree, the yellow and white, but because now it is fixed, uh, it became shorter. Uh -huh. It became shorter, and what does that mean? Uh, that uh -huh, now there is this trouble, which uh, which is. Uh, 
uh, displayed uh, by these, uh, which is uh, highlighted by these red arrows. Uh, so, uh -huh, so the next disbalanced node is this uh, brownish one, and again you have to perform what? Probably uh, right rotation there. Uh, the blue node go get uh, gets up. Uh, the brownish node goes to the right, and these uh, these um, uh, purple notes uh, just change their parent. So this is your standard uh, right rotation. And when this is completed, again, there is the trouble uh, trouble again highlighted by the arrows. So what you can do, you have to again perform the last uh, last rotation, and then the uh, the tree is uh, is correctly balanced. So that's uh, that's just to uh, to remember. And from now on, uh, from now on, we have uh, to our disposal a tree which is all, all, uh, always nearly balanced and which uh, which operations are relatively uh, relatively quite cheap. Uh, so that's nice, and uh, now you might ask, well, all right, that's it. At the, be at the very beginning of the, of, uh, the presentation, they told us that it was invented in uh, the year 1962, which is quite a long ago, and from that time everybody might be happy having uh, this, uh, this kind of tree. I have to scroll down again to the next topics. Uh, it turns out that uh, you cannot be quite satisfied, uh, because there are situations when the, this is not enough. For example, as uh, the next topics, as the so-called B3 will show, a situation might arise when most of your data are on the disk, and the data on the disk typically are bigger than uh, the space in your memory, so you cannot fit the whole, uh, the whole tree into the memory. Now what to do? Uh, so then you uh, and okay, so you say, well, if I cannot fit it into the memory, so I will uh, load a piece of the tree into memory, move a little bit in that piece. Uh, then when I come to the end of my current piece, which is currently in the memory, then load something else from the disk. Uh, <coughs> but uh, as we have seen. Uh, we do rotation, so now, uh, now it's difficult to decide which part should belong uh, where. Uh, so it's not, uh, not that effective uh, at all. So you need to come up with a different solution, and that's, uh, that's the uh, B, uh, B3. Uh, again, you can see that it's, uh, it's, it came to, uh, to 10 years after AVL3. Uh, and uh, let's see what, uh, what do they do. Maybe the example on the next slide will help a little bit more, or maybe it will not. Uh, let's start with example which is somewhere, uh, somewhere more, <coughs> more on the next, uh, well, more, uh, further into the into the set of slides, and uh, let's have an example, and then return back to uh, to uh, uh, other details. Uh, so, as you can see, that that tree has much more. Uh, it has more keys in one node. So, one node contains, in this case, something between one and four keys. Which you say, well, that might be uh, that might be favorable, but that's not a typical situation. A typical situation is when the capacity of the node is in hundreds of uh, of keys. Uh, I hope it is there. It's not there. Uh, so, uh, so that is very important when you've got a system which is again it's just tree structure, as you can see, and when there are keys inside. Then there are references to the uh, next nodes. I have no idea how to draw it there. And there, there are again the references to the nodes in the next levels. I will not put that, uh, everything in there because it's, uh, it's really difficult to uh, 
to draw it uh, to draw it correctly. Uh, but what what should be more or less uh, more or less obvious? Let us say we have about 100 keys in one node. Uh, 100 keys per node. That means the following. When there are keys in the nodes, between the keys, there are references to next nodes. And why are there between the keys? Well, uh, everything, uh, all values of keys which are between these two values, 14 and 13, must be in that particular, uh, in a particular subtree, which is, uh, which is there, uh, there. You might imagine that this is even bigger. So if there is somewhere in there, oh, I cannot, uh, cannot put it there any, anymore. So there is, uh, why? Not put it in there, will not put it there. Oh my soul. If that is, for example, 40 and 90, so that part which, uh, which is in the sub tree and uh, in the sub tree pointed by a pointer between 40 and 90. So there is some sub tree inside, inside this mass, some, somewhere hidden. And all the keys which are in that particular sub tree must be between 40 and 90 because it's a search tree. Uh, so, all right, so, and after the last element, again, it points to all elements which are bigger than, than 90 as here. So again, if we have about 100 keys per node, we have about 100, maybe 100 plus one, that does not matter that much. Uh, childs, children, children, uh, children, per node, uh, that number, and that means that in level, uh, level, in the level zero, there are about 100 keys. In the level one, in the level one, there are not 100 keys. There are about 100 children, each containing 100 keys. Therefore, there are about 10,000, if I'm uh, correct, there are about uh, 10 to the uh, 100 to the second keys, which is 10,000. Uh, good. Uh, in level, uh, level two, each of 10,000 keys have their own uh, 100 uh, children. So there are, uh, no, sorry, there are, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, in the level one, there are 100 uh, nodes. Each of those nodes has 100 children. So there are uh, 10,000, not just keys, also 10,000 uh, 10, children. And each of those children contain their own 100 keys per node. So in level, uh, in level two, you've got 100 to the third uh, power, which is 10 to the six, which is 1 million. Uh, 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 keys. So if you want to store one million keys and you've got your typical B3, it is enough to have two levels, which is, uh, which is favorable. And you can continue. In level three, the pattern should be more ob obvious. Uh, now there is uh, 100 uh, million keys, if I'm not Yes, uh, one at each level has 100 times more elements. So level four, uh, level four has uh, 10 uh, giga uh, or 10 billion, let's say. Billion, uh, 10 billion keys, and uh, slowly you are coming to a uh, situation when you can uh, store all the Google servers in your B3, all coming to level 
uh, level five, that is uh, 1,000 billion, which is, uh, which is, I think it's one trillion, so it is one tera and so. Uh, so uh, very few levels are enough to, mm, uh, to uh, accommodate a huge amount of data. And that also means that when you go searching for the data, you don't go too deep. And typically, when you store your keys on the disk, you have to access only few keys. They are on the disk, so that takes some time. But you have only few levels, so you can survive that. You have to access the root that might be in the memory uh, all the time. But then you move down, and you have to, uh, to load uh, pieces from the, uh, from the uh, disk. And uh, that happens only a few times during one search or one insertion or one deletion. Uh, so that's a, a positive, uh, positive factor. So now let's see how the, uh, how the stuff, uh, stuff works. There are some additional rules which, uh, which I have to mention. Uh, so maybe now let's jump back. Oh, first let's do the search and then mention the details. Uh, uh, find search in the node is sequential. Uh -huh. So you keep, uh, you might keep uh, all the uh, keys in your node uh, sorted, and then you can easily search for a node in the key when that key is big. When there are hundreds of uh, keys in a node, so you, to find a key in the node, you might apply a binary search. Uh, okay, why not? Or you can go sequentially. The time of searching in that node is very small, comparable uh, to accessing the whole node, which is on the disk. So be, that takes time before it is loaded from the disk. That's a very long time. Uh, so uh, the time of searching in the node is uh, is just negligible compared to the uh, to the disk access time. So you can search in the node inside in any uh, way you uh, you like. Uh, what is important that you search as in any binary, as in any search tree. Uh, when you come to the uh, to the root, you have to take the uh, uh, you have to search. Uh, you have to find in which subtree of a particular node, in this case root, is should be your key. So if it is not 18 and we are looking for 17, that means that you are going to the left subtree of 18. If you are looking, for example, for 22, so you say, ah, 22 is bigger than 18, go to the next uh, node. 22 is smaller than 26, so you uh, go into the first, uh, into the first, uh, uh, sub three left of uh, 26. If you are looking for 40, then you have to go between 26 and 41 uh, following the, uh, this, uh, this uh, reference and get to the node where only 40 can be and look, uh, look inside there. So uh, that's uh, quite intuitive. There's no problem with it. Uh, and before we go into inserting and deleting, and deleting is rather, uh, rather, Mm. Clumsy. Uh, uh, I have to mention the uh, the details. Uh, B three is perfectly balanced. That is, it does not happen uh, that you would have something like, for example, uh, something like this. Uh, this uh, cannot happen. Tree is perfectly balanced. So all the leaves are in the same uh, in the same depth so this does not uh, happen because this uh, the depths of those leaves are uh, are different uh, each node contains some number of keys and the key is an exception so typically the uh, any any node uh, must be at least half full in the, in b3 if the node becomes less than half full then it has to be destroyed and somehow uh, somehow the keys has have to be rearranged as we will see in a moment uh, uh, around the tree so you don't accept less than half full nodes well that's waste of time 
when the three when the node becomes uh, becomes overflowing with keys again you we will see how to uh, how to fix it import nevertheless it is important uh, that uh, that uh, the uh, the keys uh, contain at least k, that k is half of the size of the node, uh, so it has some uh, number related to k. When, when you have one, uh, if you have capacity of the node 100, then you uh, must have at least 50 uh, keys in one node, that k is then 100 and you must have, uh, must have at least uh, 50 and at most 100. That means at least 51 and mo at most uh, 101 children. Uh, the root is an exception because it can contain uh, it can contain any number of nodes for uh, just for the manipul uh, for the reasons which are manipulation of the tree. Let's jump into inserting and deleting. I'm not quite sure if we'll make it, but uh, what there is uh, some additional uh, additional uh, uh, approach. Uh, approach. Uh, I will uh, uh, maybe I can skip this because it is just uh, just related. How do we count the length of the node and the capacity of the node and the number of keys in there? Uh, you know, only the, just this uh, write-down picture is a little bit more realistic. What's uh, going on in the real life? Uh, and as you might expect, as your uh, tree system becomes more and more complicated, we started with simple binary search trees and there was more or less simple way how to manage it. As your trees became more and more complicated with more and more rules, then there are more different ways, uh, differing in small details, in bigger details, how to manage them. So I will show you basic, uh, basic uh, approach which is called multi Phase strategy, and there is also a different strategy. You know, we will see how uh, a little bit how uh, how that uh, works. It's a little bit more uh, complicated, and it is a little bit more uh, faster in in real life. Uh, so uh, let's have uh, let's have uh, an example how to insert and delete in a, a B3, and that uh, might be uh, just enough. So searching for anything in a tree. Is, uh, is simple. As you can see here, there's this important feature that all the leaves are in the same level, so the depth of each leaf is exactly the same, so it is perfectly balanced all the time, which is of course good uh, for any search. Uh, so searching uh, is no problem. So let's go, you know, let's go inserting. Uh, what, so what do they say? Insert five. As in any search, you must find a node where to insert your key. So you must go searching five. Start in the root. Five is smaller than eight. So you go to the uh, in front of eight. You go to the left, and there is your uh, your. A leaf, and you can insert five there because there is some free space in there. So good, you put it there and uh, feel happy. Insert 20 into the tree. So where the 20 belongs, you start in the root, you move past eight, you move past 17, but you do not move past 26. So between 17 and 26, you traverse down. There is some, uh, after a while, you come to some. Uh, uh, some leaf. Well, again, there is some space, so we insert it there, and uh, that is uh, nothing strange so far. But now the nodes become uh, full. So what will happen when uh, when we arrive uh, into a full node? And uh, now they are trying to insert 27. Uh, it should be inserted into rightmost. Uh, rightmost leaf. So and that leaf is full. So what you do now, now you don't add additional node under the tree. You add additional uh, node uh, you, uh, just uh, just at the side of the on the side of previous uh, node. So there is your node which is full. So you will you try even to expand it by. Uh, inserting in 27, but you do not insert it into that uh, into that node which is overflowing. You instead create a new node. This 
uh, this uh, well, probably broken egg or something uh, uh, just uh, tells you that this is a new node. Uh, so, uh, so what uh, what you do? Aha! Uh -huh, now you have more space because you have instead of one you have two nodes. So you disperse your values, which are the uh, contents of the original node plus the value you just. Uh, are inserting, you disperse them into those two nodes, and because they are two, there must be something above them which decides uh, what is bigger and what is smaller. That is exactly the middle value of all those five uh, is 41, that's the median value, so it should go up to the, uh, to the uh, to the parent node, as you can see here, 41 went up, the rest of the tree is uh, not affected, and we are there. So the tree grows not, uh, not in the uh, down direction, it grows, it's getting wider and wider, so it, it does not grow uh, in the down direction as we have seen in the previous uh, binary search trees. So that it is, and that is inserted. We have one one additional node, and what, as you can see, uh, each of those contains a exactly is exactly half full. It contains just half of the capacity uh, of uh, of keys. Uh, so that's uh, fine. So we have just uh, inserted something, and the depth of the tree did not increase, which is uh, which is of course favorable as well. Uh, okay, so go and increase 15. Uh, sorry, insert 15. Yeah, insert 15, it should go to now the node which is highlighted there. Between 8 and 17, you go down, you insert 15. All right, now you know what to do. You say, okay, take all the values, all the keys, take the middle one, and the rest, the smaller ones, will go to the left node, and the uh, bigger one will go into this uh, right new node. And what? And 14 uh, sent 14 to the uh, to the uh, to the parent. Well, the parent will uh, will hesitate to accept that 14 because that parent is full already. So if you this uh, this white uh, this what this node in white uh, space, if you if you make uh, that operation. Uh, here, if you divide it into two nodes and try to put 14 up there, as they stay here, that, that does not work. So what you do, uh, but you say, well, uh, we have seen something in before, uh, so we will recursively apply the same idea. Uh, tear uh, the root apart into two nodes, and uh, and where they are still trying to insert 14 up there. Now they have all these two nodes, which was created in the previous step in there. Uh, try to insert 14 up there. And well, iterate the process. Take the root and divide it into two nodes. Uh, take, uh, take the middle value, the median, and uh, push it and send it to the, uh, to the uh, to the parent, and now the parent does not exist, so you have to create a parent. Uh, so uh, there is a new parent which will contain that 17, and that's it. Uh, that's it. So the result is on the next slide. You have successfully inserted uh, 15 because it went uh, down there to the highlighted node that was divided into two pieces. And value 14 was propagated to the uh, to the parent. Parent accepted 14, but only on that cost that it has itself it has to be split into two nodes, and a new uh, new parent was created. Uh, so, and that's uh, the whole root of the tree. Uh, so that means that the uh, bee tree, when it grows, it grows wider and wider, and when it cannot grow any wider, then it grows up, adding uh, additional, uh, adding a new, a new root at the uh, at the top, uh, and that's the whole uh, that's the whole idea, as you can see. And now it's time maybe to uh, to say to say something about deleting uh, keys because that 
uh, as one uh, might uh, might think, might be a little bit more mm, complicated. Let's see how uh, that works. Delete. Well, now there are some rules in B3 which we have to obey and. Uh, Okay, so there will be, again, there will be very probably some cases, A, B, C, D, and so on. So, uh, delete in sufficiently full leaf. Delete for find the leaf, well, for find the node where that key is sitting. So there you start in the root, 17 to the left, 8 to the left. There is the node with 4, deleting it there, it is deleted. That's very simple. We were lucky, we find our, uh, our uh, key in the leaf, which was sufficiently full. Uh, so just remove one element in there and still uh, still everything uh, holds and it is a correct B tree. So we don't have to change the structure of the tree. That's important. Uh, in in such favorable cases, and in fact there are many favorable cases. You might imagine you have to delete 19, 20, anything of those, anything of those. Uh, Okay, uh, so uh, now uh, go and delete in an internal node. Uh, how, what? Delete 17 now. Oh, now. Delete 17. <coughs> Pardon. So, uh, the tree is complicated, but we have seen the, mm, the remedy uh, before. If we are to uh, delete something in an in a internal node, then substitute by the smallest, bigger key, like in binary search C. That means you have to delete 17, so take the uh, immediately, immediate right uh, subtree and find the minimum in it. That means you have to move uh, to the uh, all Always to the left, to the left, until you find a smallest element in the appropriate uh, leaf, and then take, uh, remove it from that leaf and move it in, uh, uh, on the place of 17, and uh, that's fine. If that uh, node, if that leaf from where from where 19 was stolen is uh, full enough, if it is, you might be happy. Say, okay, uh, everything uh, everything ended fine. So the, uh, this is that case, and well, uh, let's uh, say it also happens relatively often. Uh, of course, as you can, uh, as everybody can see, it might not, it might not uh, be a good situation because we might arrive to uh, to a situation when we have to delete a node in a leaf which is not sufficiently full. Uh, what you do well now, you do more or less the same we did when we were inserting. Uh, only we just uh, we just uh, uh, run the uh, run the tape backwards or uh, just simply go uh, reverse the process. I will say, well, if this is not if this is not full, uh, if this is not full, what you do? You say, okay, you can destroy this uh, one, and they can uh, they can uh, do uh, do uh, this. They say, all right. Now we don't have uh, that much uh, stuff, and what is important that we have some uh, some neighbor here. They take which one? The left one. Uh, now they take the right one. So the, you take. There are two neighbors. Sometimes there is only one, but mostly there are two. So you consider them both and say, all right, what you can do. Uh, first of all, if they have a lot of, uh, lot of uh, uh, stuff, uh, they, can, uh, they can borrow you something to speak informally, and formally that means that you can uh, simply uh, move some, uh, some uh, keys uh, from right to the left. There are too many of them, so the so first is 42, so let 42 go up and 41 uh, uh, go again down to the left. So at the beginning, this is the problematic configuration. In the end, this is the correct, uh, correct situation. So again, you don't change the 
the structure of the tree, you just move the keys around because changing structure of the tree means that you change uh, the structure which is there on the disk and that is uh, time consuming. So no, 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 don't do that. After, uh, after this has happened, you again say, well, everything was fixed, everything is all right. Now, once more, recapitulating 27 was deleted, so you took uh, its neighbor and uh, the neighbors were so generous that they, uh, that they uh, simply were able to, uh, to give uh, some, uh, some uh, keys. So that, uh, that should be more or less, uh, more or less obvious. Uh, the last case is when uh, we arrive to a situation when in the node we have to delete something in a leaf and both neighbors are poor, both neighbors are half empty, they cannot be emptied anymore. So what you do is there is no other remedy than uh, simply again somehow join those nodes and make, uh, make uh, the reduce the number of the, uh, of the nodes. What you do is you say, okay, we have this 12 to be removed. What is left is this 10. And then you take one neighboring node plus the value which is dividing, uh, which is dividing the values in those nodes. So they in total, one, two, three, four. So if you now take all those uh, yellow values, they can fit into new uh, single node. And that means that if they fit into one node, you can uh, squeeze them into one node and the other node will become empty and you can uh, delete that node. Also, of course, deleting uh, the, uh, the, uh, the reference to the node which was, which was deleted. So again, we just uh, shrink the, uh, the tree, but we did not change, uh, we did not change its, uh, its depth. So uh, recap Recapitulating, recapitulating, no, 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 the recapitulation is rather lengthy. Aha, uh, the uh, recapitulation is rather lengthy because, because of course, when we did that, here you see the, uh, the missing tooth or something like that. Uh, when we did delete it 12, we removed also the element from the parent. Now parent is, uh, is uh, too empty. Its neighbor, its sibling is also cannot, uh, cannot lend them any, any value. So again, you have to shrink, uh, do, uh, shrink these two nodes into one as they shown here at the, as they show here at the bottom. That means that again you have to take the dividing key from the parent and now when the parent becomes empty it no, it no longer exists. So uh, this means that uh, we might arrive to a situation when deleting one. We are deleting something uh, down in the in the tree and the tree is so sparsely populated by the keys that in the result we have to uh, we have to uh, lower uh, or we have to reduce the height of the tree and that is again done only by removing in fact removing the uh, the root or creating a new root out from its two uh, two children uh, and and that's uh, that's generally uh, that's generally it. Uh, I have no time, unfortunately, to uh, show you the details of uh, of uh, the other approach, uh, which is a little bit more complicated, but that does not matter. Uh, we can either check it later or uh, do it during the. And practices. What is important though is the information which is here at the end of the slide, which says uh, all the complexity all of this operation is exactly uh, this one. Again, you can see that we, it depends on the logarithm of. Uh, of the number of keys in the uh, in the tree, and uh, you have to uh, to multiply that typically by uh, b, which is the number which is uh, proportional to the number of keys 
in the or uh, or branch in the tree uh, in one node sorry uh, because typically you have to somehow manipulate all values in one in one node when you insert or delete uh, delete values uh, values in there so you move them to the left to the right or move to uh, another uh, node uh, half of them or something like that uh, that means uh, that means we depend on that as well on the other hand we know that uh, uh, that uh, that to be uh, might be uh, rather uh, rather big, but when you have got big B, then this logarithm is again very small because when you have when you've got big base, uh, then uh, then n then logarithm of n is uh, is proportionally uh, smaller. Uh, so uh, so as you can see in this very original uh, original picture. Uh, as I uh, remind you, uh, the complexity is still more or less, uh, uh, more or less uh, proportional to the uh, depth, which is uh, very small, multiplied by number of uh, of keys. So when it is in order of hundreds, so again it remains that you have to do few hundreds operations uh, in uh, in each operation when you when you have a tree which has. Uh, which has uh, rather uh, rather acceptable uh, well, much more than million number of keys uh, so that would be it thank you very much and next time we uh, again move to some searching or uh, maybe we will finish uh, finish uh, the details about the b3 yeah thank you and uh, see you in the practices